because um, the, the drug trafficking indictments that the candidates of the All Progressives Congress had in 1993. Um, and as I've appeared on this show before to speak about this case, anyone who hasn't read the case files can easily Google them and find them out. They are everywhere now. Um, these case files are, are the source from the, the U.S. District Courts of East, Eastern District of Illinois, the Northern District of Illinois Eastern Division. And essentially, you have this fellow, Bola Metinbo, who was identified by IRS uh, 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 investigative special agent Moss as a bad man, as a money launderer, working on behalf of a drug ring that was trafficking heroin in Chicago. Um, and basically, this um, indictment, which has been on public record for since 1993, for whatever reason, this uh, this story hasn't properly been told the way it was meant to be told. It's sort of become like a like a rumored kind of thing. So in the lead up to this election, I decided that I wanted to take this on that. You can't have a story potentially about somebody who has a chance of becoming Nigeria's next president being linked to drug trafficking. And it's just relegated to the to the um, to the realm of like social media rumors and you know stuff you see on on uh, 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 blog pages on Instagram and things like that. So I dug into it, and the information is it's visible to the blind and audible to the deaf, right? That this fellow was involved in drug trafficking, and this is not an allegation. This is not a claim. This is a documented fact. Right. There are legal documents backing this up. Right. This guy forfeited $460,000 of funds that were, I quote, proceeds of narcotics trafficking. This is on record. So, I don't know, you know, you know but possibly because it's been 29 years since this thing happened, and as we tend to do in Nigeria, we tend, we tend to think that justice has an expiry date. So because this thing happened 29 years ago and he has been able to get away with it, he became a governor, he governed for two terms, he has been a political operator, he was elected as a senator in 1992 as well. So basically he got away with it all the time. So 